Country singer Tebby is capping off an amazing 2024 with a hit song, well-received country versions of Blinding Lights, which got the approval and attention of The Weeknd and Payphone, and also a 2024 CCMA Award for Innovative Campaign of the Year. G's down at 229 Queen West now with Tebby himself. Hey, G, good morning. Good morning, Nick. Good morning, Jen. That's right. We are hearing Tay Bay's version of Blinding Lights, and now Tay Bay joins me now. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? All right. So that version of Blinding Lights went viral. Millions and millions of views. Yeah. Uh, did you know it was going to be a hit when you recorded it? No, absolutely no, no idea. No, the whole thing took me by surprise. I mean, the reason I recorded the cover was honestly just to try to grow my fan base. Mm. You know, I thought if I took a song like Blinding Lights, which is the most streamed song of all time, believe it or not, and, uh, and turned to country, it might bring in some fans, especially from overseas, you know, trying to grow my fan base. And next thing you know, it just takes off around the world. I know that Keith Urban raved yeah. about it. Yeah. Uh, have you heard maybe from The Weeknd, Did you know? He's from posted about it twice. Yes. Which is insane. It's insane. I mean, for him to put his stamp of approval on it by, by posting it, I mean, it was, it was really, really incredible. I'm going to throw it out there in the universe. Maybe one day you'll join him on stage and you guys sing it together. I would love to make that happen. Yes. Yeah, maybe the Genos. That'd be. There you go, Tossing weekend. Okay. We're throwing it out there in the universe. <laughs> um, but you constantly are pushing the boundaries, making awesome music. We just had Dan Aykroyd here, yeah. and I thought, what a great segue into your seg into you now and your song, Hangover at My Place. Yeah, I'm like, why'd they take the drinks away? <laughs> I know, Let's right? Let's keep it for the segment here. Um, but, you know, the response to your music has been wonderful. What do you think it is about the lyrics and the music that speaks to people? You know, I just think authenticity. Yes. I mean, it, it's who I am. Uh, and watching the thing with Blinding Lights that was really, really cool is that people from around the world that typically wouldn't listen to country music were sending me messages on Instagram and, and social media. And I would get messages from people saying, I don't listen to country music. I don't like country music, but I like this, mm. which I found very, very interesting. So I'm really grateful that my version of the song was able to bring in fans uh, from around the world and just, you know, continue on this crazy journey that I'm on. And you continue this journey. You've got new music coming out next year. What's happening for the new year? Yeah, Hangover at My Place is mm -hmm. the current song with uh, Tenniel Arts, yeah. fellow Canadian. And then just hit the ground running, I think, in 2025. Uh, we're going to go on tour overseas. We're going to head to Australia and then Europe Wonderful. in the new year, which I'm excited about, yeah. and capitalizing on that new fan base. And then uh, probably a, a national tour across Canada. Yay! It's, it's been a couple of years since I've done a tour here in my home, home country, so I'm looking forward to that. I love it. Now, I know you live in Nashville. What a great place to be. I'm yeah. a huge fan of Nashville. Uh, what a great spot to be inspired to do your songwriting and you're raising your family there, which is beautiful. Yeah, we love it. We live just outside of Nashville, uh, out in the suburbs, and it's great. I mean, my kids uh, are very fortunate to grow up there, but we, uh, we make sure that they, uh, they, they stay attached to their Canadian roots. Yes. You know, my, my daughter was born there, but my son was actually born up here in St. Catharines. Uh, so we try to spend as much time as possible here in Canada, just so they have that connection uh, with, uh, you know, with their roots. Love it. I know your parents are still here, which is so great. Yeah. Hopefully the kids will experience a, a winter holiday uh, for the holidays. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, were talk we were talking before yeah. we went to camera. I mean, typically we come home every, mm -hmm. every year uh, and they get to, you know, take part in all the Canadian activities and the snow and stuff. Because down in Nashville, we don't get a ton of snow, yeah. obviously. Um, but this year we're actually going to stay in Nashville. Beautiful. Switch it up a little bit and, uh, yeah, spend the holidays at home. Uh, nothing like a sunny destination right? or warm destination for the holidays. Yeah, warmer than here. We're all jealous. Uh, Tebe, congratulations on all your success. I can't wait for your tour when you come here. Will you join us again when you hit the I would love to. road and come to Toronto? Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for, thanks for having me. No problem. Tebe, thank you so much. Thanks. Congratulations.